Hmm, it goes down like snot. And that's what trail runners eat. Last Saturday, Felicia and I ran the Cobblestone Trail in Annadale State Park in Santa Rosa, California. This was to help her prepare for the prestigious Lake Sonoma 50 mile run in April. Annadale is a very popular park for trail runners to train, and the Cobblestone Trailhead is one of the more popular areas to start. It's got free parking. There's that pedal behind you. Uh. <laughs> Here we are with one of our short runs. It's only 10 miles. We're training for the Lake Sonoma 50 miler. Felicia is on top of it. We are recovering from Armstrong Woods hike, <laughs> hike slash run yesterday. Yeah. And we're taking a relatively easy course, which is the Cobblestone Trail, which um, is still pretty advanced. I don't think it's that easy <laughs> starting out. <laughs> I'm just comparing the two. Oh, okay. It's level five. <laughs> so we're hiking up the, the steep parts, obviously, with a little bit of a Tabata run. Today, I think we're focusing on taking hills, right? Yep. Shall we? We're doing orchard? Yeah. Okay. Whew. It probably does not look impressive on video, but when you're running it, you, know, you really feel the heel. Here comes Felicia again. She's such a trooper. I admire her so much. If it weren't for her, I would never get out here like this. She's so ambitious. Nice Love job. You. Two miles in and we were warmed up and hitting our stride. At three and a half miles, we stopped at Lake Il Sanjo to test out some goo energy gels. I started with the lemonade flavor and what Felicia had cake? spring energy gels. Today, we are suffering with some goo gels. I'm trying to choke two of them down. Meanwhile, Felicia has spring energy gel, which is real food. Love it. My favorite. Cranberry. New favorite. Cranberry. But I'm going to suck this guy down now. Oh, yuck. <laughs> I have the uh, Hoppy Trails naturally flavored. This is not as good as the lemonade one I just had. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have like a whole box of them that we have to go through, so. We don't have to. Uh, we're not going to waste them. No, we're not going to waste them. Maybe 10 years from now, we'll still be working through them. <laughs> mm. Mm. God, these are, there's a big difference I didn't know between. What, I don't know what flavor this is. You want to try it? It's hot. It's like beer flavored. It's supposed it's to beer. taste like beer. Is that why it tastes so nasty? <laughs> I kind of like the taste of it and I don't even like beer. Huh. Yeah, now that you say that, it kind of does taste like a beer. How far? We're at 4.93. All right. We made sure to run just past five miles, so our run would register 10 miles. So right here, this is the turnaround point. 5.06 yeah. miles in. And we got some uphill to go. Yeah. But then, Lots after about, what, a half hour, to, or I mean, uh, and another a mile. Quarter mile. Three quarter mile. Rolling hills and then a lot of downhill. Yeah. Just a little bit more uphill. Don't worry about us. <laughs> Let's go. After the turnaround point, we critically sampled some more gels. It's mile six. Yep. And I'm taking a chai latte. I'm taking a birthday cake. Ooh, will it? <laughs> <laughs> um, will it have the texture of cake and frosting? It, they taste good. They're not as good as spring. But they won't have the gel. texture. All right, this is a Roctane Ultra Endurance Amino Acid Supplement Chai Latte Energy Gel. 1425 milligrams of amino acids, 125 milligrams of sodium, 35 milligrams of caffeine. Can't throw my ref on the ground. Nope, can't do that. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm, it goes down like snot. <laughs> I like spring energy gel better. It does taste like a good chai latte though. It's kind of kind of that spicy, like cinnamony. Oh, does it? Yeah, in the in the throat. Hmm. So it's like cinnamon snot. Wow, they're yummy. I can't wait to have one. <laughs> you sold me. <laughs> I think it was the snot. All right. Hmm. Checking in again at Lake Isanjo. We should have brought our paddle boards. How many miles we're in? Seven. Seven miles in, we only have a few more miles to go. Thanks to Felicia, my inspiration. Aww. My legs are sore, <laughs> but it's well worth it. To get to Cobblestone, we go down Rough Go. Yeah, we're on Rough Go now. This is Rough Go. Yep. Why is it called Rough Go? It's pretty rough. Why is it called cobblestone? Rocks. Freaking rocks everywhere. Should be called freaking stumps. Should be called sprain your tibia. Oh no. <laughs> On our way down, we ran into a group of mountain bikers. No, don't worry. I don't want you taking a break because of us. Hey, let's go, guys. Yeah. Up the hill. All right, Jason. A little technical, huh? After 10 miles, it was a relief to get back to the car. My legs were on fire with this run, combined with the day before with the Hillsburg Running Company. We made it. We made it. Down to the car. This is another log in the training entry for the countdown to Lake Sonoma 50 miler trail run. Elevation, technical trails. Lots of sweaty tryhards entering the event. My quads are blasted. Felicia could go another tan here. I don't know about that. But we have stuff we gotta do. Lake Sonoma 50 beckons you. Tomorrow's a rest day. <laughs> 